Intensive Care with Clean City Arts. And today I have several little projects I just wanted to show you. Uh, a couple of techniques and uh, I'll just get started. A friend of mine wanted to take this picture and she wanted to put it in a necklace. So my husband ran off on his color copier. Um, little round circles, one inch. And as you can see, they're exactly one inch. And what I did was I took my one inch paper uh, punch and I just punched out one of the pictures. And I found a setting over at uh, Hobby Lobby that was exactly one inch. And what I did was I, um, because the setting was kind of deep, I took several pieces of paper and I just stuck them together. I punched them out. This is double thickness. And I punched them out so that I could make um, kind of a cushion for the picture and kind of build it up. So as I went, each one of them, what I did was I, I put some adhesive on it and I just kept stacking them until they were the height I wanted. And once they were the height I wanted, then I took the round picture and um, I ran it through my little Xbox. Everybody probably has one of these. Love my Xbox. It's a Xyron. A little one. It's a in the shape of an X. If you don't have one, you can't scrapbook without these. These actually make a sticker and they have the refills that just pop inside. Very easy to use. And so then I made a, basically made a sticker out of one of these pictures. And then I stuck it into my frame. Now, once that was done, I still had probably an eighth of an inch or so um, that was not filled in. So I took my Ranger Glossy Accents, and um, you can find this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. It's usually where all the Tim Holtz stuff is. If you look for Tim Holtz, um, uh, his ideology line, anything with uh, Tim Holtz or Ranger, this will be in with um, in that department. And all I did was I made sure that this bottle was upside down for a few minutes before I started. And then I tested on a piece of paper just to get that last bubble out. And uh, basically just after I knew I had all the air out of my nozzle there, I just started working around until I covered the entire um, picture. Now what I did was I did a rather thin coating. I didn't do, I didn't blob it on there. I did a, uh, just a good surface covering. And then what I did was I left it overnight and let it dry. Now when you put this down, it's going to look milky. It even looks milky in the bottle. Um, it's kind of got a milky consistency to it. So you're going to see, you're going to think, oh no, that's never going to turn. Well, it does. And I just put the second coat on this, so this is looking milky too. Um, but after it's dry, it will completely dry clear. And I'm going to put this up here so you can really take a look at it. And it's just a really simple process. This one already has a bale on it. I found these at Hobby Lobby um, in their jewelry aisle, uh, jewelry making aisle. And so they're, um, they have all different styles and uh, squares, rounds, whatever. But anyway, it worked out perfectly for Kathleen. Hi Kathleen! Uh, for her uh, grandchildren's necklace. So I wanted to show you that. And then I started working on a project for Artie, um, Artie Dar. She is having a CD uh, swap. And what it is, is basically you take an old CD and you alter it and um, she has some awesome uh, videos her name is Artie Dar A-R-T-E-D-A-R -E on YouTube and she has some really good videos on, on what to do with these old CDs you know that you get in the, in the mail or you've used them up or whatever you know you, you're done with them you can turn them into altered art so what I did was I started by putting two holes in the very top and um, I used um, my crocodile to do that with so that I could run a ribbon and I run I did rivets on our um, is that what they're called yeah rivets on 
on the um, top so that my ribbon would go through and be reinforced. And then I took the small punch and I did three little holes at the bottom here. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with those in a few minutes. I added some monkey paper. Do you love it? I know. It just, I don't know. It stood out to me. I'm not sure why. I think I'm related. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I wanted monkey paper. I wanted this to be funny. Uh, just kind of a a treat to see when once you got it. So I want it to be a surprise. So then I knew that I wanted to extend the size of the CD just visually using ribbon. And right here I have all my ribbons cut out for this CD. And the way I started was I just I cut it always cut at an angle. Then every end has got an angle on it. And I used this again, this glossy accents, to adhere all my ribbons. And I spaced them out, and then I'll have like a, a formula. Once you do it one, you can see how you do the next one. It's just, you know, repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, so what I did was I put the paper on there first, and I ran it through my big xylon. Now you could use glue, or you could use your glossy accents, but just get a really smooth covering on your adhesive and put it down. And then what I did was I cut around it. So after I cut around the paper, I edged it right here with some distressed ink. And you can just barely see it. It's not, um, it's not uber bright. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, distressed ink. This one is uh, vintage photo, which I've just about worn out. So I did around the edges with those. And my point is, is I'm going to put these ribbons all the way around. You can see I've got my hanger ready. Okay. And through the magic of TV, I feel like Martha. Uh, Ta-da. I have put all my ribbons all the way around. And what I'm going to do on these three holes is I'm going to hang these charms. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's just kind of a something, something different, something bright look cute in the kids room. It would look really cute. I think it would ha make me happy just to hang it on uh, one of my um, kitchen cabinet doors, you know, on the handle. Because that's about the size of it, that you want this ribbon, if you're going to do it for that. Um, so I took all these ribbons and turned it into this. Then, what I wanted to do was I knew I knew that it was going to have to have a back on it because as you can see it looks kind of eh right now this is the back so I cut a piece of another piece of paper and what I did was I cut off, chopped off the top and the bottom so that that'll actually give that coverage but it won't interfere with the ribbon here or the charms down here and then of course what I'll do is because it's a swap I'll xyron my business card on the back so that they'll know who did it, and I'll probably date it and put um, Artie Dar Spring uh, CD Swap on it. So they'll have a date, and they'll have my name. So that'll finish the back. So now I wanted to also work on um, the front a little bit. And as you can see, these charms hang down. You can see them pretty well there, I think. I'm still learning my camera, so bear with me. Um, I'm using these. These are um, the little clips that um, Tim Holtz has out. I believe they're called garment clips. But they're kind of like a paper clip in that you just push them in and unfasten them. And you can see how they look un unfastened. And what I did was I took one of those and I added four little beads. And now I'm going to add my charm. Put my glasses on here. Add my charm, and then I'm going to thread it through that hole. And it's a way of making a charm without having to actually get all your jewelry tools out. I just kind of like that idea to be able to let me show you exactly what you're looking at here. Yeah, still learning. There 
we go. Oh, there it is. So basically, you're going to have your beads and you're going to have your charm. And the way it'll hang, it'll just dangle. So you can see how that is. So I knew I wanted charms on there, so I've got my three charms. And I've got my front with all my ribbon. And the next thing I'm going to do is I decided to make a stick pin. And I did a, um, a little tutorial, a mini tutorial. It was my last video. So if you want to catch that, um, just go back to the tutorial on YouTube and you can see exactly how I made this the um, little stick pin. But I took a um, pearl top stick pin and because this paper had some white in it, I just left it white. And then I added two small beads, and then I scrunched my ribbon. They're just uh, fan folding ribbon. I added a big bead, and this time I added a flower. And I'm going to stop right up there so you can take a huge look at it. I hope you can see that. So basically, it just put together really quick. That last bead in the flower has uh, some glossy accents on them uh, to just keep it all glued together. So I also have, you know, a pretty little pin to use on my on the front of my CD. Uh, the next thing I did was I took some flowers that I had gotten last year. I don't know if Hobby Lobby carries these felt these thick felt flowers or not. You can see the thickness on them. Um, they have like several colors in the package for like a dollar ninety nine or something like that, and then they ran them for forty percent or something like that. Then I added a um, oh a prima flower, a bright prima flower, and then I stuck my my stick pin into uh the edging of the stick felt. And what I did was I glued everything together. It came with little tabs, which I may or may not use. I may just glue it on there. But I didn't want to have to put a spinner on this flower, so I just put my stick pin there instead. And what I'll do is I'll arrange it on here. I think I kind of like it like this. So you can still see some of my monkeys. I'm going to turn this around so you can take it all in. Get my charms down so you can see those. And then I'll add this on and I'll probably use glossy accents. And then I have some making memories or uh, making memories um, rub ons. And I might do laughter, I might do family, I might do friends, but I'll probably put some kind of adage right there and it'll have a word there so that it'll just kind of finish it off and I will be done I'm doing two of them for her for her um, swap I think two is your limit as many as you can do and um, so I'm doing two and so I just wanted to show you what I was up to today um, I started this last night and I kind of thought it was fun and I would share and See if you guys liked it too. So I'm going to put this right here and let you take one more look at it. And I will be done with it very soon. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Um, get out your old CDs and your old DVDs. If you're not using them, you're just going to pitch them anyway. Um, and do something fun with them today. And as always, do some art today because it's cheaper than therapy and it'll make you feel good. Have a great day. This is Kara with Queen City Arts.